I'm Dean Cipolla and this is the Azure Academy. There is a new feature that has come out in the Azure Backup world. So let me paint a picture for you. You set up Azure Backup, you got all your VMs protected, everything's going along just fine. And then something happens where you've got to do a restore. So you go into your backup vault, you set up your restore process and you wait. And then you wait some more. And then eventually, okay, now my VM is restored. Now, we've talked through different restore scenarios before on the Azure Academy, but today we've got something pretty cool to show you. Let me go over to the Azure documentation page, and what we're going to take a look at today is products, and then under management tools, and backup. Then when we get here, we're going to type in the search bar here the word instant. And then we click on this link here for get improved backup and restore performance with Azure Backup Instant Restore. So what is going on here? Basically, our friends over in the Azure Backup product group have done an upgrade for us all behind the scenes. And so by now, I think everybody's vaults globally should be all updated. And that is where the backup vaults have been updated to include some new features like disks up to four terabytes using standard SSDs are now supported as well as as the feature that we're talking about today and that is instant restore now the word instant restore and I'll, I'll get into uh, why we're calling it that and and what's going on does not mean that the VM is restored in like you know 0.185 milliseconds that's that's not what's going on the backups are now being done in a certain way to allow you to much more quickly restore from the backups that you've taken we're doing this as a way to improve performance and scalability of the backup vaults. If we read down about the feature here, and of course we don't want to spend time reading the documentation, but uh, there's some features here that you could check, although most of this under the upgrading to Instant Restore has already been done for you behind the scenes, and this is just us improving the service that you are already consuming. The specific things around Instant Restore that we have to talk through are ones around this new feature, and this is in the backup policies, which we'll look at in a moment. And this is where you can configure anywhere from one to five days to retain your backup snapshots in your storage accounts. Now, first of all, let me make clear that when I say storage accounts, all disks for VMs reside in storage accounts. There is the older way of doing things, which would be called unmanaged disk. If you are currently using unmanaged disks, you got to move over to managed disks, okay? It will make your life so much better. When you don't have to worry about managing the IOPS performance of your storage accounts and making sure that you are you don't have too many VHDs in one storage account and that you don't have noisy neighbors and man, your life will be so much easier in managing Azure. So if you're not doing that, get over to managed disks now. And if you guys would like a video on how to convert stuff from unmanaged to managed disks, shoot me a, a comment here let me know and we'll get a video created for that all disks in Azure live in storage accounts even managed disks they live in a storage account that is managed by Microsoft behind the scenes it's tied to your subscription but you can't see it you see the disk object in the Azure portal the benefits of this is you get solid performance across that VM whatever VM type it is this feature now with instant backup allows you to do a backup of that VM which will be faster the vaults are now more performant and on top of that they can store larger disks and more types of disks with that said there is some increased cost in using this feature now let me explain how this kind of works so we take a snapshot of the VM. The snapshot will be a certain size. And then that will be retained in the storage account where your managed disks live. After the certain days that it sits there for the instant restore process, then it will be moved into the backup vaults storage. Okay, and it will be kept there for as long as your policy dictates. Why is this important? This is the functionality that allows us to make the restores far faster. What we'd have to do in the past is we'd have to go into the backup vault storage account, find the VHD files related to the particular restore that you wanted, pull them back across the wire into your storage account, rehydrate, inflate them, and then finish out the restore process, whatever that entailed. Okay, Whether that was just restore the VHDs, create a new VM, or even replace the existing VM. This process cuts out the middleman. We have the snapshot 
snapshot stored in the storage account ready for us for however many days you dictate one to five days then the snapshot is there in the storage account so half the job is already done so the restore can start instantly it will still take time to do the restore process but it can begin right away and that's why we call it instant backup so enough about the docs enough explaining let's get to doing so here we have a resource group and inside this resource group that I called instant I have a recovery services vault and I've got one VM sitting here with one disk so inside the backup vault the place that you can go to check if your vault has been already upgraded is under properties and what you should see here should look like this now okay if you have not for some magical reason not been updated yet there will be a link down here that says to upgrade your vault and it's just a button you click it and it's done it takes about five seconds under backup items which I have just one VM has been protected and backed up now here's what you should notice when you click on this item there are different kinds of restore types so if I go through the experience here to do a recovery of this VM from the vault we see that I can select my particular recovery point I'll just select this one and we've got our standard options stand up a brand new VM or just restore the disks and stage them in a storage account or I can do the replace existing and pick a storage account to stage the backups in let's go back here and let's look at what it means to do the restore from a snapshot and see how the experience is from here oh look it's exactly the same I can create a VM I can just restore the disks or I can replace existing so there's no new thing to learn here so on the restore side things are just going to be faster if you choose a snapshot recovery point let's do that so I'll choose my staging storage account here and we will hit OK and then we'll click the restore button to begin and now that job is kicking off so if we go to the backup jobs and we see that we are in progress and if I click on the job we see here that the very very first thing that had to be done is make sure that data was transferred from the backup vault into the local storage account that is done instantly why because the data was already sitting there it was from the snapshot now let me show you another example so I'll go to my recovery vaults and I'll just pick another vault where I've got some stuff I think I've got them in here and yep here's some virtual machines and I'll take my jump server and I'll do a restore and here's a restore from the vault and we'll do this to replace the existing VM and I'll stage it over there we hit OK and we hit restore and then we go back to our backup jobs and we see here's our job now we click on this job oh wait this one's in progress this is where the instant restore has the great advantage over how we have done this in the past we've got to sit here and wait until all of this data comes back from the backup vault into the storage account where my disks are located before I can begin the restore process so going back to the instant vault we look at the jobs that part was done right as soon as we started because it was already present okay so we're already doing this now I've done a restore already as you may have noticed and I did two different kinds of restores just to give you an idea of the time frame that we're looking at here so this very first restore that I did was from a vault backup so it was already stored off in the Azure Backup Recovery Vault and that took just under a half hour the one that I did a little bit later was from a snapshot and that took 18 minutes so we're not saying again to be clear we're not saying that the restore itself is instantaneous 0.185 milliseconds and you've got a VM back no not the case it is that when you start the restore the restore process to either rehydrate those disks or to uh, create a brand new VM or to replace the existing VM that restore process begins instantly all right it's been 18 minutes and seven seconds and our instant VM restore has completed so if we look at that job we can see both of these items have completed 100 percent we go back to our jump server here we can see 22 minutes in and this thing is still going it's at 57 percent trying to get the restore back from the backup vault so that it can do its thing uh, the last thing that we'll look at is where this is configurable and that is in your backup policies and we'll go to here my default policy and all policies will have this enabled now by default so if you only want to keep it for the most minimal period of time you just set it for one and hit save and currently the maximum that you can set it to is five days and it'll warn you of that if you go above that 
and after that period has expired, the snapshot will be moved from the storage account where the disks are located into the backup vault for long-term retention for as long as your policy dictates. Hope you've enjoyed this look at the instant restore capabilities that are in Azure Backup now. Please don't forget to like our video, subscribe, click on the notification icon so that you can know when our videos come out, which is about once a week, and happy learning.